Hello everyone, and welcome to the sixth app submission tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be covering how we can create a screenshot for our App Store submissions. So the screenshot is probably one of the most important pieces to your application. It really sells how the user experience is going to be. And if you don't have a good screenshot for your application, it really can turn people off from even buying your application. Because let's be honest, the first thing we look at half the time when we go to buy an app from the app stores are what does it look like? You know, we, we, we always want we don't really care that much about the description. I mean, if you want to get more, you'll look at the description, but generally you want to know what the experience is going to be when you download it. So you look at the screenshot. And if your screenshots don't look good, then chances are people won't buy it because it really does turn them off. At least I know that's what it does for myself. So just looking at some examples here, this is an example from Pixelmator on the Mac App Store, which I'm actually going to be using later. But you can see that Pixelmator, they just put the background, uh, they just basically take a screenshot of their Mac. They don't have any distractions in the desktop. They simply just have their application with their sub windows that they're using, and then they just display the content, the things that you can make with Pixelmator. So then you, you, know, you can go through and they show different menus, and they show all the different things that you can do. So that is a good example of uh, you know a very clean layout that simply displays the kind of feel you're gonna get for when you download this application. Now that's one way of doing it where you have the menu bar and just looks like you know your application would. Another option that you can uh, opt for if you want is you can, uh, this is just another example that I found, that they use just the application itself to, you know, they just display the content in the application and then they'll bring some annotations in to describe some of the neat features that they provide. So, you know, you can click on this and you can see that they uh, have a bunch of other features that you can use. Um, they outline those and then they reflect that with a different screenshot. So these are all the different options and obviously they spent some time putting these together by putting the annotations in and it really does matter though when you're making an application that you know everything looks right and the user will have a good vibe basically when they look at the application they can say yeah I can see myself using that and I want to buy it. So like I said the screenshot is a really important part. Now for screenshots, the requirements anyway, are this is just a screenshot or a snapshot from the iTunes Connect developer guide. And uh, you can look that up yourself if you want, but um, the specific section here is on screenshots. And the important part is this, you need to have an image that is a 16 by 10 aspect ratio and one of these four different sizes. So we're gonna be using the 1280 by 800, but you can use one of these uh, three different ones as well. And then it just has to be one of these different file types here. And we're gonna be using the PNG file type for this example. So the first one I'm gonna show you is the example of having that backdrop and then just putting the application on it. And I'm actually gonna be using Pixelmator to uh, combine these images, but you can use whatever, if you have Photoshop or GIMP or whatever you use for image editing, you can download one of those and um, you can try this out yourself. Now, um, what we're gonna be doing uh, first is finding an image background. So to find simply the Mac OS X backgrounds, if you wanna use one of those, you can go to your Macintosh hard drive here, click on library and desktop pictures and this is where all of the various backgrounds are located. And then you can take whatever one you want, whatever one you think works best with your application, or whatever one you like, and you can use it as a backdrop. Now I'm gonna actually use one of my own, and you can do that as well. I'm just gonna use the mountain lion backdrop, uh, and at this point, mountain lion is not out, but I have the image anyway. So we have uh, this nice galaxy background that's in the mountain lion, uh, you know, desktop background. All right, so what we wanna do, I just double click on whatever image I wanna use and that'll open up in preview. And the first thing I'm probably gonna to wanna to do is duplicate this. So just go to file and duplicate and that'll create a duplicate and I can just X out of that previous one that I had. 
Now my duplicate, I want to resize it so that it fits that uh, those specifications that I just showed you. So in the tools, I'm going to go to adjust size here in preview. I'm just going to type in 1280. And as you can see, it's scaling proportionally. It's going to fit properly. So 1280 by 800. And that's the size that I want. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And as you can see, that's what it looks like in full size. So now I can go ahead and hit Command S to save it. I want my format to be PNG, and I'll just save it to my desktop. And when that's done, I'll just go ahead and quit out of preview. And now I have my image right here on the desktop. So the next part now is to take an image of your application while it's running and what it'll look like. So to do that, all we have to do is run our project in Xcode, or if you have it already installed on your computer, you can run that as well. And I'm just going to set this up to uh, look how I want. So change the color here of this thing, and go ahead and draw something. And there we go, that's a pretty decent looking uh, screenshot or image, I think, that we can put on there. And uh, we can go ahead and take this screenshot. So how do you take an image screenshot of your application? Well. All we really want to do is get this uh, window, plus we can also get this nice uh, shadowed background that uh, the window provides if we use Apple's built-in screenshot tool. And to do this, we can just hit Command Shift 4 plus spacebar, and that'll give us this little camera icon here. And I'm just going to take it and I'll click, and that'll take a picture of this window. And as you can see, that should show up in our desktop and there it is right there. And as you can see, it provides that nice uh, backdrop there, shadow that we want. All right, so now that we have that, we can quit out of our application if we want, and we're gonna op uh, open up in Pixelmator. So I'm just gonna go ahead, launch Pixelmator here, and I'm gonna create a new image. So I'll create 1280 by 800, and that's good. And I'll drag in my Galaxy image that I just created there. And I'm just going to hit Command minus so I can zoom out a bit. And I'll line that up. There we go. There's the image right on top. And I'm just going to go ahead and drag in our screenshot as well. And I'll line that up correctly there. And there we go. And that's basically at 100% here. That's what our screenshot's going to look like. And if you want to go into full screen to see this a little bit better, you can. there's the image that you're going to be seeing. So anyway, that is uh, the layout for our screenshot. And if we want to go ahead, we can go ahead and save this. So we'll just hit File and Export in Pixelmator, and we'll save it as a PNG. And I'll just save this as my spiral screenshot. And there we go. So that's saved to the desktop. And I can go ahead and quit out of Pixelmator. And there's my spiral screenshot right there. If you want to view it in full screen, just hit the full screen button, and that's what you're going to see on the Mac App Store. Of course, it's going to be shrunk down a bit, but you can see that the backdrop is put right into there because it was saved in the uh, application image, and it's just placed right on top of background. And then you could feel free you know, to annotate this if you wanted and do whatever uh, you want to make it look good. All right, so now that we have that there, that's uh, the one way. The other way is to have just the application with the menu bar and a bunch of, you know, just no, the application basically. So I want to figure out how to clear this stuff out of here as well. But um, what I'm going to want to do to first get this going is run the application. So go ahead and hit run. Go over here, get this nice backdrop that we already have. And like I said, I'm just going to set this up to however I want it to look. And I'll draw it out. And now that's basically what I want. Now, the next thing though is I want to get rid of these, you know, all these icons and folders that we have on our desktop. So, to do this, we can use a nice terminal command to get rid of all these things. And as you can see, I already tried this earlier, but I'll create a new window here. All right, so there we go. This is what it looks like. And all we want to do is clear out all the things that we see over here. So, we just have a nice clean background. So to do this, we just type defaults. And I'm not going to spend too much time trying to explain this one, but uh, 
anyway, defaults write.com.apple.finder. And that's basically just going to change a value in the finder. And uh, all it's really changing is uh, one of the flags. And so we're going to just hit, say, create desktop. And we want to change the flag for our create desktop. And we're just going to say we want it to be false. And all this means is that it's going to make the desktop appear with no uh, stuff in the desktop, basically. So, And when we hit that, it's not going to do anything yet. But first, we have to restart the finder. So we'll hit kill all and type in finder. And that just kills the finder process. And there we go. Now everything disappears from the side. And we can just you know, uh, put our application on top here. And now we have this nice, clean interface, no distractions and we're good to go. If you have any extra stuff in your menu bar that you want to get rid of that is uh, built into Mac OS X, you can hit command or hold down command and just drag it out of the, the bar and it'll you can let go of it and it'll just disappear. So anyway, that's um, if you want to get rid of some of the stuff you have up there, you can do that. And uh, of course, if you have something else running though, you'll have to quit that. So. Anyway, this is uh, our layout, and all I want to do to get a full screenshot is do Command Shift 3. That'll take the picture, and of course, since we're hiding everything, we'll have to uh, re enable all that to see the screenshot. But uh, just go back into terminal here. And in terminal, I'm just going to hit the up key twice, and that will get me back to that first line that I wrote. And then I can just type true, and that'll just make the desktop appear again. So we'll go ahead and hit true, kill the finder again. I guess I could just hit up, or up, up, there we go. And kill all finder, there we go. And there we're back to seeing all of our nice images again. So that is how you can take the screenshot for uh, the menu bar included. And um, that's basically all I really had to show. So now we have our two images, the one that we worked on just with the no background, and the other with the menu bar included. So depending on what you are really going for for your screenshot, you can pick whatever you feel is best, but that's how you basically create screenshots for the Mac App Store. Anyway, if you have any questions on this, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And uh, more tutorials on this, the next one will be actually creating that the application in iTunes Connect, and we're going to have more Coco and Objective-C tutorials coming up in the next week. So stick around for that, and I will see you next tutorial.